Linda Prine, one of the Becker County Master Gardeners, and I'm here today to talk to you about gourds. They're my funnest thing to grow in the garden. They're easy and they're fun. They're a member of the pumpkin and squash family, and as you can see, they come in all shapes and sizes and colors. And they're fun to mix and match and make a variety and make a nice display. There's two different kinds of gourds. There are the curbata, and they're the soft-shelled. They're the colorful gourds, such as like one of these. Very colorful. They don't last a long time. They, they have their season, and then they're done. And then there are the lagnara. And lagnara are the hard shell. You have to dry these guys out. I'll talk more about them. But there's two different kinds. So the curbata, um, when you grow them in your garden, it'll be kind of like um, the leaves are prickly, kind of like pickles, squash, the vines, are, and then the, the um, flowers are always yellow. Where on the lagarda, the, they're really soft leaves and white flowers. And they take a lot longer growing season too. But um, that's the two different kinds of gourds that I grow anyway. Um, maybe we'll just start with all the different kinds of gourds. I did this presentation not too long ago in a garden club and there was a little old lady that said, I just thought a gourd was a gourd. And I said, but they all have names. And she was excited to learn all that. So, so our first one is a daisy gourd. And they come in also oranges and yellows and variety of colors. And our second one, probably my most favorite because it's what my grandmother and my mother raised, is a spoon gourd. And my grandma actually would dry hers out and they were in her darning um, basket and so she would put it in my grandpa's socks and darn and fix his socks with that. And this one is called Autumn Wings. That's a newer variety come in different colors. This is an autumn wings and this one is autumn wings. Same seed, grow on the same plant, different colors. It's so much fun picking gourds, it's like being out on an Easter egg hunt. This one is a small warted gourd, just real knobbly. You see a lot of uh, pumpkins like that these days too, that are all warted and, and uh, sp uh, different color spots. This kaya is called a baby boo. It's a, from more of the pumpkin family. There's the baby boo, and then this is his friend, the Jack B. Um, Jack B. Nimble. Um, just one's white, one's orange, basically. And this is a new variety. This one is called Lunch Lady. Have no clue. Just a fun name, I guess. Kind of almost looks like a swan. And. This guy is a gremlin. It's a new variety this year. They're fun. All the different knobs and colors. And on the back here, all of a sudden, there's an orange color. They're just cool. And this one is called Gizmo. Kind of looks like your daisy gourd. Sorry, I'm jumping around here. But it's got the bumps. So a gremlin. I'm sorry, Gizmo said that wrong, gizmo. And then we did those. Um, this is called Crown of Thorns, or the Ten Commandments. And you can count, there are ten, ten little knobs there. Um, sometimes they're in dark green, sometimes they're in white. Same thing, all different kinds of colors. Um, this one is also called gizmo. Kind of cool, looks kind of like a squash on the bottom. Just a little crowns on it. This guy, I bet you could guess. It's a shape of a pear. It's called pear by color. Kind of cute. And this big boy is a Turk's turban. Also a squash, but considered a gourd. And it's kind of cool. It's got the, the turban on the front part. The back looks more like the squash. These are edible. The other gourds, you could eat them. Probably not very tasty. And then my last, but my most favorite, is my Yugoslavian finger. <laughs> and this guy, um, found about in the garden, he had a few friends, and I'm like, I didn't plant anything like this. So I had to do some research. And he was apparently mixed in one of the seed packages with some other gourds, but pretty cool. My granddaughter thinks that's super, super cool. Other kinds of gourds, um, as I told you, are the hard shell. 
and you can make bird houses out of them. So this is um, kind of how it starts. And then a finished product. I call these guys Gordian Angels. And my prize, a snowman gourd. And to dry them, it takes probably six months to a year. And when you dry them out, um, I cut a hole in the back and cleaned it all out with a scraper deal. And um, it gets really moldy and musty and stuff in there, so you want to make sure you wear a mask and things because it is pretty awful smelling. But cute little snow girl, snowman. Thank you for watching today, and I appreciate um, uh, being able to do this. And if you have any questions, you can call the Becker County Extension Office at 218-846-7328. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you.